We tied this same knot, this five part seven byte CASA knot in the last video and put a pineapple interweave in it. The run list is in this book, Western Tack Tips, which was my first book. And this knot is not in my introduction to Turk's Head Knots. But all of these run lists are in this book. But we're going to tie this knot and then we're going to put a pineapple interweave in it that has gaucho bites like Bill Black ties on some of his knots. Okay, so we make a clockwise pass. We continue clockwise, oops, we continue clockwise pass, and then we continue clockwise pass. None of these have any overs or unders, so they're free runs. Now, we're right here, and we do, an, I'm going to tie this a little tighter than I did in the last one. We do an over, and go right along the edge of my collar. Then we do an over, and we go along the edge of my collar. Now we do over two, over two, over two, and over two. And I'm about to lose my knot. Over two, over two, over two. Right here is where we go under one over two under one over two now we do an under one and over two now we're just splitting tracks under one I can keep the twist out of my string. There we go. And then we're going to go over one, under one, over one. Now here's our tracks right here. So it's under one. over one, under one, and over one. Right through there. Here's our last set of tracks. Under one. To get into our tracks. Over one, under one, over one. Okay, that fish or not, but I see right here there's a little bit of a twist in my string. So I'm going to back that up. Back that up. There. Get that twist out so my string is relaxed. When you pull the knot clear through, sometimes it causes tension in your string and it'll get a twist. There. And we go right alongside of our standing end on the right hand side to finish our knot. Now this time I tied the knot tighter so I don't have to really tighten it down but I like to go under these crosses on the outside edge just to get it on the collar better and it straightens your knot up gets these boxes a little bit more of the same size in a straight line okay now we're going to tie a pineapple knot, but we're going to do gaucho bites on the edge of the knot. So 
the same thing as we did before. We're going under two to get along the right hand side of our standing end. And we're going to go over one and for the pineapple we would go under this cross. Well we'll want to continue to do our pineapple so I'm going to go under one and over one out of the knot. Then when I come back in see our pineapple would have been under that cross so we want to come up right there so we're going to do we went out over one now we're going to come back in under two to be in the spot where our pineapple would have been and that gives us a gaucho type bite on this outside edge now we go here for our pineapple but we're doing our gaucho bite so we're just under one over one out of the knot on this side now we're going to come in under two to be where our pineapple would have started over one under one over one out of the knot Now here's our under two and there is our pair that we've got to split. So it's an under three. Two reds and a yellow. And I'm going to get that red one over my yellow so it looks better. Okay. Now we're over one under one, over one, out of the knot. Now we're doing our under three to split that pair. If I can get on top of my collar, right there. Over one, under one, over one. Now under three to split the pair. Okay, over one, under one. And now we're, we're back to where all of our standing ends are. So going out of the knot, where we the standing end of our interweave is underneath between this these two red ones. So we're going to go over two, and we've got to go over this standing end. So actually, right there we're going over three, but that's just because these two are actually the same strand. So right here, over three, under three to split that pair. Got a little twist. Over one, under one, and see our yellow one down there? So it's under one, over three out of the knot, or over two out of the knot. Because the yellow is between the two reds. Okay, so we come out over two. Now we're going to go in under three to split that pair. Okay, over one, under one, and out over two because of that yellow one down underneath. So over one, under one, out over two. Okay, and right here, see here's our standing ends, but we're 
the next string over. So we're coming in under three and splitting that pair right there. Over one, under one, and out over two. so it lays better there okay now where we were doing our under three we're going to go under four not this pair but this pair see this pair right here is the one we've always been splitting so this is an under four And it's, I'm going to straighten that a little. Okay. Over one, under one, out over two. And this knot's tightening up real nice. Okay. Not this pair, but this pair. So it's under four. Red, yellow, red, yellow. Split that pair. Over one, under one, out over two. And see how this yellow one and this red one are kind of crossed? This yellow one should be on this side to to make it look nicer well and delay where it's supposed to be laying so I straighten that out a little bit so that comes across because it it gives you more of a gaucho bite than a paired bite okay so it's out over two now we're going in under four and split this second pair Now, our standing end and working end of our original knot is right there. So these two strands are actually considered as one. And that is our pair. Where this one's coming up, that's our pair. So we're going to go over two and split a pair, go under one, and split or and go out of the knot because we're going to go over this red and the yellow okay so we're going to go over two split a pair under one and out over two Now we're going to go under our four, coming back into the knot, not splitting this pair, but the second pair. Split that pair right there. Now we're going to go over two, split that pair, go under one and out over two. Straight my red and yellow here. Now we're going to come under four, not this pair, the second pair was the one we split. Under four and split that pair. And it's getting tight. A 
And one reason it's getting tighter than the other one. Of course, I tied it tighter at the beginning. But the other one, I pulled the knot down a little before I started the interweave. But this interweave is the same size as the primary knot. Where with a pineapple knot, your interweave is two parts less than your primary knot. So this is two five sevens and the pineapple is a five seven and a three seven tied together. Okay, over two, under one, over two, out of the knot. Where this is tied, left a little twist, there we go. Now, right here, we're back to our standing end of our interweave knot, and we'll just go under four to finish our knot. Roll that a little. Get my edges a little. I know that's out in the screen, but there's a board there in front of me that I can push that on. And this knot really fits around that collar nice. And that is a good, solid slide knot. Like you could have that for a scarf slide and it would really hold some hold up without it bending out of shape so I hope you will try tying this knot because this is a fun knot to tie thank you for watching